Good morning, Living Waters. Welcome back to our time of coffee together. This week we're looking at the theme of God breaking down the walls that divide us. Most of our passages will come from the New Testament this week, but today's comes from the Old Testament. Because I think there's a stereotype of the Old Testament that uh, it's full of laws that are walls that separate us. Uh, chosen and non-chosen, clean and unclean, etc., etc. However, I would argue if you actually read and study these laws, you will find this is not always the case. In fact, it's not often the case. Uh, the purity laws are often misunderstood. Clean, and uns clean is a uh, translation misnomer. And there's laws like the one I'm going to lift up today. From Leviticus 19, verses 33 and 34. Uh, this kind of law is found all over the Old Testament and again in the New Testament. Uh, I'll go ahead and read it. When an alien resides with you in the land, you shall not oppress the alien. And no, we don't mean outer space alien. We mean someone from another country, a foreigner. The alien who resides with you shall be as a, the citizen among you. You shall love the alien as yourself, for you were aliens in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. This uh, caring for the, the, the foreign, the, again, this is a wall that's often set up, so in some cases quite literally, right? Um, who's part of what country? But God isn't a God of just one country. God's a God of all people. So God's making clear, yes, we're setting up this nation, this chosen people. However, God is still the God of those outside of this chosen people. Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ, all people are now part of this kingdom. All walls have been broken down, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. In the Old Testament, God is still true to this, though. This is not the only place. I'm not picking just one law that uh, God talks about welcoming in the stranger, the alien, the foreigner, the widow, the orphan, right? No, this is, this is a common refrain in the Old Testament, in Deuteronomy, in Exodus, in Leviticus, in the prophets. We see this quite a bit. And this little tag, I think we've gone over this before, but if you're new to having coffee with us, the I am the Lord your God, that's kind of God's uh, stamp of approval, if you will. Boom, you will do this. I am the Lord your God, uh, reminding us of God's authority in our lives. Or a mic drop, depending how serious it is. So it must be a mic drop. Boom, I'm the Lord your God. Anywho. So yes, there are laws that are in the Old Testament that break down walls. Yes, it's true. Not all the laws in the Old Testament are meant to separate and divide. In fact, as Jesus says, the law was meant to love God and love neighbor. It's supposed to be a uniting force. But unfortunately, it got used to build walls as time went on. As so often, things do. Whether it's identities, um, you know, faiths have been pitted against each other, political identities have been pitted against each other, sports teams have been pitted against each other. You know, it's a little less serious one. But identities have been used uh, constantly that, that pit us against each other, and this is not God's will for us. God wants us to be united despite our differences, to together seek the best good that God has given us in the law and shown in the gospel. Love and grace. All right. That's our first one of five this week. Come back tomorrow, and we're going to jump to the New Testament for the rest of the week, so it's going to get real good. We're going to bring... Uh, the witness of Christ in here and, and uh, spice it up.